Assalamu alaikum. I am Sarifan Ashraf to deliver lecture to second year class and my lecture number is 2. Students, you got very useful information about respiratory system in the last lecture and I will continue. And these informations are important uh, because they are related with your body and some interesting information you wanted to know. So I will start about the A1 important point students look here. You have two lungs, it's clear, left lung, right lung and your positioning of lung is closer to uh, in the chest cavity, thoracic cavity, my fingers, these are my fingers, look my where my fingers are going. This my finger is going towards left side, the, here the heart is present and in this, this lung is left lung and left lung present at heart side where heart is also present so space for lung is little less because two things are present and left lung has two lobes it means left lung has only two lobes similarly right lungs situated here empty there is no any other important organ in the chest cavity and it consists of three lobes why three lobes space is there chest cavity is there and chest cavity space is there there is no any other organ like heart is present and that is three lobes present why i am telling you reason when i will enter the bronchus and bronchi tubes into the lungs i will tell you i will divide the bronchi accordingly in reference to lobes the lobes are present and similar type of bronchi are also present numbers of bronchi number of the bronchus number of the uh, respiratory tubes in the lungs depend upon the lobes the lobes are more the number of tubes are more because oxygen you will give more similarly another information uh, is the this information about the pleural membrane look here in the heart, I was, was teaching you in first year that that heart consists of two membrane, outer, perica outer pericardial membrane, inner pericardial membrane. And what was happening in that case, I was talking to you that outer pleural membrane here in the lungs, outer pleural membrane and inner pleural membrane outer pleural membrane this one outer pleural membrane and this one is the inner pleural membrane similarly in the heart when i was teaching you there were two uh, pericardial membrane outer pericardial membrane inner pericardial membrane and between them fluid was present between them fluid was present and that fluid wh wh why that fluid is present because that fluid will protect the uh, heart Similarly, that fluid also protect the lung. Name is different. In case of heart, the fluid is pericardial fluid. In case of air, this one, this one, this fluid, this fluid, this is the fluid which is the pleural fluid because that is between the pleural membrane. Now, question is, sir, how the fluid protect the organs? Fluid is the part of skeletal system. This is not bone. This is not cartilage. How the fluid is pro able to protect these uh, these important organs? I will tell you. Fluid is a shock absorber. Shock absorber mean anything. I am pushing. Look here. My I am now beating my yes my body. I beat my body. Look here. So now this force of my uh, my my hand goes to my chest cavity and then it goes to look here now you will see this one it goes to outer pleural membrane this pressure go to outer pleural membrane and then this pressure goes to fluid this pressure goes to fluid when this pressure goes to fluid between outer and inner pleural membrane this fluid is consist of water and water consists of hydrogen bonding due to electronegative oxygen and electropositive hydrogen. This hydrogen bonding water, you know, water is able to bear. Water has a high boiling point, melting point. Why water has high boiling point, melting point? Reason due to hydrogen bonding, due to oxygen electro minus charge and hydrogen electropositive charge. This hydrogen bonding will keep, will, will, uh, keep the water uh, to bear more pressure and give the quality to the fluid to, as a shock absorber so all my force 
which was uh, to push my chest cavity that shifted to outer pleural membrane and that shifted to fluid and fluid 80 percent almost 80 to 90 percent that shock this is a shock this shock was absorbed by the fluid due to hydrogen bonding and what what happens uh, as a result this pressure goes very little to inner pleural membrane this pressure goes very little to inner pleural membrane and inner pleural membrane will not be a much pressure reason because that pressure was being absorbed by the fluid present between outer pleural membrane and inner pleural membrane now students come back to a important point look here the important point is that how the surface area of the lungs involve in the absorption so I will tell you four important points and you will remember I want your attention students because question is that why lungs are so important to absorb oxygen and why lungs has the capacity to absorb oxygen why lungs has the capacity to exchange the gas why lungs has the capacity to absorb carbon dioxide from the capillary why lungs has the capacity to have more oxygen in the lungs why lungs have the capacity to do external respiration why lungs has the capacity to give oxygen to the tissues in the less time why the lungs has the capacity to, to, why lungs has the capacity to work 24 hours why we live very long long life 60 or 70 100 years uh, and our lungs are continuously working and they did not stop even for a second and this because there is no storage of oxygen what is the quality of lungs that that lungs provide 100 percent oxygen any time during the lifetime even you are sleeping and it is providing enough oxygen all the time to all your tissues reason respiratory surface respiratory surface respiratory surface of alveoli cells you know unit of the lungs is alveoli cell in the last discussion we discussed unit of the uh, unit of the lungs is that is a is the alveoli cell that is the main cells who who discover who do uh, who do the respiration now i talk about the four points i will tell you four points four points first point alveoli cell membrane is the main membrane which makes the lungs a quality organ a quality organ to absorb oxygen reason because alveoli cell what is the diagram of alveoli cell it is a double membrane and protein in the alveoli cell is a collagen and elastin c o double l a g e n collagen and elastin collagen and elastin so first point first quality alveoli cell has that alveoli cell is moist alveoli cell is moist it is wet reason when any surface is wet the gases goes easily into that cell diffusion become easier movement of the molecules from the high concentration to the low concentration it has diffusion so what happens first point is that it should be moist it should be moist the first point is that your surface of the alveoli cell must be moisture moisture should be there for efficient diffusion so that gas easily goes into alveoli cell because when alveoli cell gas is present now question is sir why you want to enter gas oxygen from outside to alveoli cell why alveoli cell is more significant cell and why other tubes trachea you are not discussing much and you are telling me alveoli cell you are discussing alveoli cell so alveoli cell alveoli cell double membrane alveoli cell double membrane will allow oxygen to enter into the capillary this is the last part of respiratory system who will allow oxygen to goes into capillary reason because capillaries are attached with alveoli cell i will show the diagram capillaries capillaries are attached with alveoli cell 
So it means that part of respiratory system which is attached with the capillary that is alveoli cell. That's why alveoli cell is so important. So movement of the gas from capillary to alveoli cell, which gas which goes from capillary to alveoli cell, carbon dioxide, and which gas goes from alveoli cell to the capillary oxygen these two exchange of the gases is the backbone of respiratory system so if your this exchange is superior you have very good respiratory system if you are young it means your alveoli cells membranes are properly working and oxygen is going clearly into the capillary and from capillary carbon dioxide is going into your alveoli cell and you are healthy because your oxygen exchange and carbon dioxide exchange is so efficient and that is 100% being supplied to your tissues for oxygenation of the glucose in the mitochondria because the capillary once the oxygen will get no problem that is the motorway. That is the motorway. First target. When you enter oxygen from alveoli cell to the capillary, now that is the motorway. The capillary will transport very easily through the arteries, through arterioles, and to the cap and then once again uh, to the uh, to to the tissues. And the tissues will get oxygen that will was absorbed by the capillary from alveoli cell. So we'll go back to the third, the second, uh, second, uh, uh, second quality. Second quality, large surface area, large surface area, large surface area. How the large surface area is there? Large surface area. Alveoli cells should have large surface area. Lungs should have large surface area. And that is very easy. Number of alveoli cells are more in the lungs. Number of alveoli cells are more in the lungs. So they have more surface area. Cells are larger surface area less we if i am in a room and i if i divide this room in the small chambers in the small chambers and i will calculate the surface area of each chamber and then i will sum up and then i will calculate the surface area of this all room surface area of the number of the sur surface area of the sum of the surface area of all chambers will be larger but when i will calculate the surface area of the one room the in which i am sitting so i will go from one wall and second wall third wall fourth wall that is my surface area even room is larger but surface area will be smaller when i will divide this room into small chambers and i will calculate the surface area of each chamber because i will move through uh, each chamber surface area i will sum up that surface area will be larger than the room chambers are small but you, i am not calculating the surface area of one chamber i am calculating the surface area of all chambers and then i am comparing with the surface area of that room in which chambers are present what is the key point in this information when you divide large area mean lungs into small cells more cells will come and sum of <coughs> surface area of small cells will be more and if the large cells are present if the large alveoli cells are present if the large alveoli cells are present surface area will be small that is the key point if you are smoker if any uh, person is smoker, smoking a long time, what is going on? Small alveoli cells are changing. Small alveoli cells are changing into the large alveoli cells. And when they are changing into large alveoli cells, what is happening? What is happening? You tell me. Surface area, respiratory surface area of alveoli cell will decrease because room is large. When chambers were small, surface area was more. When room is large, the surface area decreases. So, sir, what will happen when surface area will decrease? But you, oxygen will go less into capillary. When oxygen will go less into capillary, the inspiration will, will disturb and you will not get efficient oxygen. Because capillary will not get oxygen, the capillary will not give oxygen to venules, veins, vena cava, arteries, arterioles. Once again, the capillaries and then come the tissues. Heart also come in the, in, the, in the mid, you studied in first year class. So what will happen? The oxygen will not be supplied. 
properly to the tissues and you will be a depth of oxygen and you will not uh, respire normal your breathing rate will be fast <sighs> like this one you as you saw old men breathing when they will they are moving upstairs <sighs> reason because you are you need more oxygen because your alveoli cell surface area decreased and surface area decreased they are unable to provide efficient oxygen to capillary so in one inhalation you are unable to uh, give oxygen to your tissues so you need to get more oxygen from the outside and you have to breathing rate you have to breathe little faster rate than the normal now come back to another point students another point which i wanted to tell you about just hold on i wanted to indicate that i want to indicate that point just hold on yes i want to indicate this is the indication thin surface area should be thin surface area should be thin now this is also important point i told you that alveoli cell consists of two membranes one is a outer membrane one is a inner membrane and then uh, what will happen that from that membrane from that membrane and the to the crossing oxygen will cross these two membranes to capillary now point is that look here if this wall if this wall is thick thick mean uh, if this wall is thick so uh, definitely uh, sometime the gas will consume more to move into if this wall is thin if this wall is thin the gas will go easily to the outside similarly similarly uh, i can give you examples uh, the thick wall will consume more time to go into capillary if thick wall is there alveoli cells nature has given these two walls of alveoli cells very thin so we are lucky we got thin walls and these thin walls are moving oxygen properly to the capillary properly to the capillary and then when it will go into the capillary through the thin walls so that is the good point to that is a good point that diffusion rate will be the faster so i told you that respiratory surface mean wall of alveoli cells if that is thin oxygen go faster if that is more mean more number of alveoli cells and if you are not smoker if you are not uh, you have no problem of infection in coronavirus what is happening in current coronavirus so, alveoli uh, cells cells are damaging when alveoli cells damage what will happen alveoli cells will be less in the numbers when they will be less in the numbers it means the surface of the alveoli cell will decrease when surface area will decrease what will happen the oxygen will go less into the lungs uh, into the capillary oxygen will go into, less into capillary the capillary will send less oxygen to the heart the heart will get less oxygen in the blood the heart will send less oxygen to your tissues by aorta by arteries by arterioles by the capillaries <coughs> and then less oxygen will go into tissue the mitochondria is the organelle in the cell which will get less oxygen in the mitochondria when it will get less oxygen in the mitochondria what will happen the oxygen will, go, will not react with glucose properly when oxygen will not react with the glucose properly carbon dioxide and water will not be produced and energy will not be produced and energy will be produced less less energy will be produced less energy will be consumed into the atp molecules and it less atp molecules in your pocket you are unable to speak you are unable to walk you are unable to eat you are unable to fight against corona virus you are unable to do any exercise you will become ill if i am speaking look here i am speaking i am breaking my atp molecules my atp molecules will uh, break will finish i will i will feel weakness in the ramzan mubarak just before aftari i will not be much active reason reason my atp molecules are very less now they are in the borderline so i will save those atp molecules up to aftari when aftari after aftari when i will offer pray and i will speak that that pray will be very brilliant but before aftari before aftari my prayers uh, just before aftari my pray and uh, uh, activities will not be much at a speeder rate reason atp molecules are less similarly at the night time the in the ramzan mubarak the people will offer long long namaz in the standing status at day time uh, 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 nature also allah taala also gave uh, the uh, isha namaz very long reason because now you have eaten a lot and you have atp molecules now read long namaz so these atp molecules will is the energy storage small packets of energy in our body 
so three points students uh, i already told you now we go back to very important point very important point i think this is the most important point that how you respire better when you are young and how old old men uh, respire a little bit in a in a in a, in a feeble way that uh, now uh, this point uh, uh, you know already but i will highlight blood supply blood supply should be more to the respiratory surface blood supply should be more in the respiratory surface it should possess good blood supply now uh, you will be thinking sir how the blood supply uh, why the blood supply is required to alveoli cell why blood supply is required reason is that that blood supply will be given blood supply will be given to alveoli cell blood supply will be given to alveoli cell then you will get oxygen from the alveoli cell to the blood blood supply will be given to alveoli cell then you will remove the carbon dioxide which is deposited which is accumulated from the tissues which is a waste product then you will be able to give carbon dioxide to your to your alveoli cell to your alveoli cell so therefore better way you should supply blood more and more to the alveoli cell question is sir how it happens because we cannot do we are no more in your body we can do from outside i can talk from outside i cannot do anything inside the body i cannot change myself inside the body i cannot change blood circulation inside the body who do allah taala do we should note these things uh, if we are muslims that at you are sleeping and allah taala is uh, uh, running your all systems perfectly and you think that uh, uh, you think that uh, 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 this is a lesson for us that uh, our body systems are working 24 hours and how that is working look here the capillaries which are linked with alveoli cells because you know that capillaries are richly supplied uh, alveoli cells are richly supplied with the blood capillaries once again i will speak one point why alveoli cells are important why alveoli cells are important because alveoli cells are richly supplied with the blood capillaries and blood capillaries are coming from arteries arterioles arterioles coming from artery arteries coming from aorta aorta coming from the left ventricle left ventricle pump the oxygenated blood to all parts of the body now i will i will repeat this information in other way the capillaries come from capillary some capillaries these capillaries consist of oxygen oxygen as well as the carbon dioxide because there that is the main, blood is a main transporter of the gases so capillaries the richly supplied of the blood capillary richly word is important if i will highlight this one uh, look here this yes yes so uh, that richly supplied mean that blood capillary are blood capillaries are many and many in alveoli cells their surface alveoli surface and capillary surface is this is a capillary this is a round shaped cells and this is a capillary they are just closer these surfaces are touching with each other now point is raised sir how many capillaries one alveoli cell is richly supplied with the blood capillaries how richly supplied means how many uh, how multiple capillaries can go into the lungs reason i tell you we capillaries are smaller in size they are microscopic they are they are microscopic when they are microscopic so definitely when they are microscopic they are, you are able you are able to manage you are able to manage those when you are able to manage those yani capillaries are more capillaries are more when capillaries are more it mean that you are able to you are able to uh, manage those we we'll go back to now another point which i wanted to share this is very important point students this is another fourth point i want to share you and this is very important point which i i will tell you now i will highlight this point i will highlight this point students i will be slow in this point because this point will show you uh, the key concept of respiratory system i will indicate this one just hold on yes i want to indicate this one the point is that respiratory system should have good ventilation mechanism good ventilation mechanism mean that it should have enough ventilation mechanism what is a ventilation mechanism now this is the question mark if you are watching the diffusion gradient is written on this is a diffusion gradient little bit red line highlight diffusion gradient visible to you yes visible to you diffusion gradient diffusion gradient diffusion gradient yes this is the this is the diffusion gradient 
uh, I will highlight diffusion gradient important word yes this is the diffusion gradient so diffusion gradient what is that you have to create the pressure gradient you have to create the pressure gradient what is the pressure gradient the difference between high concentration and the low concentration is called as pressure gradient is called as a pressure gradient difference between high concentration and low concentration is called as a pressure gradient now you will tell you sir how the pressure gradient develop pressure gradient develop how pressure gradient develop how they develop due to muscles due to muscles diaphragm muscles and intercostal muscles diaphragm muscles which are situated at the base of the chest cavity and the intercostal muscles in the next lecture uh, i think uh, i will tell you about uh, about these muscles functions that how you create less pressure in lung and how you create the more pressure of oxygen outside so this uh, difference of pressure uh, between outside and inside mean oxygen flows from outside to inside from outside to inside and you will develop the pressure gradient the difference between high concentration and the low concentration is called pressure gradient and you will be able to transport the oxygen from outside to inside that will be my next uh, lecture hopefully now go back to the this uh, information which i want to share students uh, about the left lobe and the right lobe left lobe and the right lobe what i told what i told i have to tell you once again yes left lung has two lobes right lung has three lobes left lung has two lobes now what is the advantage of these lobes left lung has two lobes therefore therefore the in the left lung in the left lung the bronchi will be two bronchi will be two in the left lung because lobes are two because lobes are two there are in the left lung there are two bronchi primary bronchi and the secondary bronchi similarly in the right lung in the right lung in the right lung there are three lobes there are three lobes and bronchi numbers will be and bronchi numbers will be bronchi numbers will be three in the right lung in the right lung when bronchi will divide into uh, when the bronchi will divide into uh, two one is primary bronchi one is a secondary bronchi similarly when bronchi further divide that is called tertiary bronchi similarly bronchi inside the lungs keep dividing they will enter into bronchioles and bronchioles will enter into final bronchioles that is a terminal bronchiole that changes into alveolar duct small tube before alveolar cell and that it will be changed into alveolar cells and one in last information students for today that c shaped cartilage i told you in the first lecture in the trachea that will be replaced by cartilage plates mean that cartilage will remain present in the bronchi cartilage will remain present in the bronchi but difference is that that will be little weak than the trachea in the trachea that is strong c shaped incomplete c shaped incomplete cartilage present in the trachea and uh, cartilage plates are present little a bit uh, uh, weaker than the c-shaped cartilage in the bronchus in the bronchioles there is no cartilage thank you very much for today remember all these information will be very useful in the upcoming informations thank you very much allah face